morning guys as some of you have been asking how I do I cook my pork shoulder and get this nice cracker crispy so today I'm going to be showing you how I always cook my my pork shoulder get this nice cracking crispy skin so I've ripped the bag already because I nearly forgot to record this but this is a um, bone in shoulder so it has a bone in there as you can see there's a bone in there bone in the pork so I'll be needing my salt some lemon juice lemon juice is everything when you're cooking pork it gives it that nice lovely taste and I'm going to be using some black pepper okay and of course I'll need my tray so it's already rolled it's already tied the bone is in there sometimes the bone is very little and the price of this honestly was amazing it was eight pound one pence but now it's six pound one pence so I got a bargain eh? and um, it's 2.50 kilograms so I'm going to be cooking this for four good hours nice and slow okay guys so I'll take the paper off on my shopping board it's huge this is pork shoulder is huge as you can see this will feed us me my husband our son and um, we may be able even to get another pass today and tomorrow we're going to use it to two this will be for two meals guys you can eat all this one day get fat and you don't want to be getting fat so I'll have some black pepper in my bowl black pepper like half teaspoon of black pepper and I'm going to be using one teaspoon of lemon juice this one teaspoon would be enough and half teaspoon of black pepper which I've already put in that one there and I'm going to be putting in what salt I need to measure it like salt I'm going to put on there One tablespoon, no one like it's a big one, so I'm gonna be using half of the tablespoon. Half, half in there, in your lemon juice and black pepper, and I'm gonna mix them up. I'm also going to put some extra virgin oil one tablespoon of extra virgin oil virgin oil is really good for you it's good for your healthy and I'm going to mix all that together so there is one teaspoon of lemon juice half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of not half tablespoon of salt and a full tablespoon of olive oil mix all together for the salt to dissolve and it's 
going to be on this massive chunk of pork so I'm going to have enough foil so I've got a chunk a bit of my shoulder pork on top of the foil on my tray and with my mixture of lemon pepper salt olive oil it's going to go on top i'm not a chef but this is how i always cook my shoulder pork and it comes out lovely nice crispy tasty flavored absolutely beautiful so if you love how i cook it or let me know how you cook yours comment down and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for all my subscribers and for all people that stop by and watch my videos i do have lots of diys i do in my channel the hair the cookings and all sorts i like sharing so i'll have all that in me and i'm going to get stuck make sure your hands washed you can put gloves on if you wanted i've washed my hands so i'm going to get in and massage it in with my hands so after that i'm going to get turn it and do the other side as well so everything is covered with your pepper salt olive oil and of course lemon juice give it that nice good flavor for your pork shoulder so i'm going to stick this one in my oven guys which is already on on gas six as you can see, ne yeah, six. Oh, it's big, it's heavy. Goes in there, so it's going to cook on six until this all crispy. This crack is starting to crack up. Then I'm going to reduce it to five to cook slowly, and I'm going to cover the foil. The all this bits the meat and i leave this one out open the cracker up out open so it cooks nice and slowly and we just of course cover it and i have to see again when it's all done so this is how my pork is looking like after an hour of being in the oven so what i've been doing is just taking it out get the juice and put it on top so it makes that nice crack and nice and crispy and not so dry but just in between so i get the juice dip it over every half an hour in there I get the juice again and I will tip it over on my pork shoulder look at that this is how it's looking like after an hour being in the oven okay guys so every half an hour I take it out and I will put power some juice of its own that, that's why I like to put the, the foil underneath so the juice is nice and clean on the foil not making the tray start smoke up and everything i just like it being on a foil and, uh, the juice or the fat get it underneath and tip it over again to cook it nice and lovely pork shoulder 
this is how it's looking like and this is the one is going to be beautiful see now so good i'm going to put it back in the oven after half an hour i'll take it out and i will put some juice or the gravy it's own gravy that's coming out on top see that it's starting to get a bit harder the cracker a nice cracking pork shoulder All right guys so i'll see you when it's done i think guys after two hours my pork shoulder being in the oven i'm going to take all this out can you see that i'm going to take all the cracking out and i'm going to place it on the oven and i'm going to cover the whole of this with foil and i'm going to put the cracking on a separate foil and this one all wrapped in a foil and put it in again for another two hours but as you can see the cracking is coming out nicely look at that so i'm going to take all this out you can see this all going to come out and going to be placed on a different foil a uh, different tray sorry that's going to be on a different tray and i'll wrap the rest of this on a foil and put it in for another two hours okay so there is my cracking on a different tray and there is my pork shoulder this is all going to melt this all fats are going to melt on here that's why i'm using to keep over this fat so it makes it nice and soft while it's cooking so i'm going to go ahead wrap this all in a foil it's going to be covered with a foil and this one is going to be pressed in so it cracks up nicely this one is cracking. okay so the crack is pressed on a different foil as you can see to crack nicely and the pork shoulder all wrapped and pressed back on a tray separate as well okay we'll see when it's all finished so guys after four hours let's take it out and see how all went it must be cooked over nice all wrapped in the paper i've got my crack out already this is hard like nice cracking here yeah, this guys can you hear that that's absolutely lovely cracker so let's get the pork shoulder itself out and see how it is see that's our pork so our pork is ready let's have a look I like to put in the foil after taking the crack out to dry itself and then the pork is absolutely lovely and beautiful nice tender moisturized and absolutely I'm not a chef guys remember but this is oh look at that you see now coming out with the foil this is it I just do my own my own things and it just comes out beautiful so i thank god for my skills of cooking so look at that look how soft it is you see now guys look at that look at that that's how the pork cooked in there in a foil love and thin. that's only a little bone which was in there now whole of this is just meat just pork the whole shoulder look at that so much is on everything guys you enjoy this with really nice cool down so guys this is how it came out for some of you are asking how i do cook about pork and finally finish it and just see how soft it is look cook it in the foil it don't want to dry just nice and moisturized and super lovely and tender look at that beautiful so guys i'll let you go and i have seen my another video please subscribe like my channel and i love you all guys have a nice day look at that guys how beautiful and lovely and all and look at the crackers so 
look at that. This is lovely box order. Absolutely cooked, rubber and soft the way I wanted it. So now it's absolutely lovely. Look at that. Thank you guys. So I see you in my another video.